hey y'all welcome to my channel so i need to unpack i need to get my nails done i'm actually about to go get my nails done right now um i need to straighten up i might take my hair out not quite sure i need to take a couple pictures for instagram and the pictures that i didn't get in such and such outfits in miami i'm gonna have to take them again here somehow i'm gonna figure it out um and i have to organize all the photos see what i'm gonna post organize all the videos see what i need to edit i got a lot to do so i'm gonna do it all today and tomorrow so i right now am one getting ready to go get my nails done like i said i just well i don't know if i said this but i soaked them all the gel manicure off honestly the gel manicure was kind of sloppy and it just didn't look as clean as I usually get them. And mind you, I've never been to this person for a gel manicure. I've only been to them for a pedicure. And also my pedicure was kind of like, not, it wasn't it low key. Like it's kind of sloppy as well. So I think I'm gonna just go back to my regular lady. Um, and then we'll, girl, we gonna figure it out from there. She is kind of far now that I moved, but that's okay. That is okay. I will travel to look presentable, you know? I also got tons of packages. I always bring my Ikea bag to the mailroom because I literally have always have like tons of packages. And while I was gone, like the emails of the packages that were arriving just kept piling up and kept piling up. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. Like, I hope they hold everything. Well, I knew they would, but I know they kept going in there like, girl, when is this girl gonna pick up all these damn packages? I really wanna juice and get some celery juice going because by the end of the trip, I was kind of feeling a little sick. Mainly because I was just eating whatever I wanted to. Um, because it's vacation, girl. Like, you don't really want to limit yourself that much on vacation because you want to have fun. Like, you know what I mean? You want to experience. This is Body Butter from Trini Touch. This is so good, y'all. This is in the jasmine scent. And it just smells bomb as hell. And it's so moisturizing, all natural, handmade, black owned. So yes, Trini Touch, check them out. I'll leave their website down below. I just, I need to cleanse my body. I need to get all that up out of me. Okay, I was drinking kind of a lot. Like I feel like I had so much to drink that I need to get that out of me. I felt like I was eating things and like trying things, didn't really care if it was gluten free or dairy free because like I said, I just wanna experience Miami and see what's what, what's what, you know what I mean? Also this lotion right here is fire as hell. I'm about to put this on right now. It's a Nivea Essentially Enriched. And I use, I use Nivea, but I use a different one. But I need to go buy the big bottle of this. This is the only one they had of the um, travel size. Y'all, it's so freaking good if you want to know all the travel size uh what was that face if you want to know all the travel size stuff that i bought make sure you check my pack with me video because i showed you guys all the essentials that i bring with me on vacation all the travel size all the things that i like to use for you know body care hygiene whatever have you let's head out let me get these nails done i wanted to take my lashes off um but we shall see. I don't know how I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna figure it out. Come with me, leave all of your things, yeah. We can stop at Gucci, stop at Louis V, yeah. Come with me, fly you out to grief. Full speed, so for the belly, yeah. Come with me, leave all of your things, yeah. We can stop at Gucci, stop at Louis V, yeah. Come with me. Okay, I just got done from getting my nails done. They look so good. So we did a matte base with the shiny, well glossy, well the design is glossy. So yeah, this is so cute. So now I'm about to go meet up with my dad real quick. My behind is just getting home. It is 10.30, like 10.30, really? I was out doing a million and five things. After I got my nails done, I went straight to my grandpa's house because I need to work on something because the brand was like, we need the content right now. So I was like, oh my gosh, I'm freaking out trying to like hurry up and edit this video. And then I finally got that done. Um, I had to re-edit another video too. So I was just super behind. Like the video that was supposed to go up today, which actually went up today, 
I, I don't know what happened, but all the little inserts that I had put on it were not working for some reason. So I had to go back into Final Cut Pro and redo all of the little inserts and the pop-ups and like all that type of stuff. So I had to redo all that and then upload that. And then I had to edit the video and then upload the video that the brand was asking me for. Girl, and then that took forever. Mind you, it takes me like a good two to three hours to edit a video. It depends what it is. But for vlogs, that'd be like really long. It kind of takes me a long time. So that was that. And then after that, uh, I had to help my dad with something. And that literally took the whole rest of the day. And then I ended up at my aunt's house. Girl, how did I end up there? I don't even know. But I was like, yes, I'm about to go home. I'm about to go lay in my bed. Boom, now I'm at my aunt's house chatting it up with all my family just like you know we just talking like you know being family so i was there for like hours because i didn't feel like really driving home so now here we are <laughs> i haven't gotten nothing done i ain't unpacked not one thing girl we just gonna start this over tomorrow we're gonna start this over tomorrow good morning good morning good morning so today is a grind day we have to unpack we need to get this house back together because once i unpack i already know i'm about to like mess up the whole house um and i'm trying to get back you know on schedule on you know on my routine so i have to open all of the packages that i got i literally have i got more last night i went to the mailroom last night and got even more i also need to take one airport picture with my suitcase it's probably gonna be right here on this wall because i don't have no other choice um so yeah we're just gonna see what happens big huh girl um yeah and then these lashes girl they need to go like they are so they've been falling out like they just this side just looks crazy if you follow my uh miami vlog if you watch my miami vlog follow my miami vlog what um you know one night i got a little you know lit yeah they don't look too bad but some of them definitely have fallen out so maybe next time i go on vacation i can get them like a little thicker just a little bit um but i kind of did like the super duper natural look so i don't know we, we're gonna see but um that was my lash oh my god so i don't remember exactly what i showed y'all before i left but we just gonna either edit it out if i already showed it if i didn't then i'll just leave it in there so first off is zara and i ordered this bodysuit again because in the collective haul i think i showed y'all but this is like the true color um the zipper was broken they sent it to me with a broken zipper so I picked this bodysuit up i will try it on in my next collective haul for y'all i'm sure it'll be coming soon because i literally have a million things i need to show y'all next up is this little linen two-piece so it's this top right here which i think i'm gonna wear on my next trip i'm pretty sure um it is pink and green which i don't know how i feel about that but we shall see so it looks like this and it is like a little boxy crop top i actually got the medium and the large because i wasn't sure how the top was gonna fit and then i got the pants to go with it and they look like this and i got these in a large because i want them to be nice and flowy so i want this outfit to be flowy so and it's also linen so it's not like that much stretch on the material so that's why i got two sizes in the top um but yeah they're just some long pants and i'm pretty sure they will kind of be see-through because it's linen but it does have a pattern but then again y'all know me i'm gonna wear nude underwear with it anyways so that's literally all i wear all right next up is from loud brand studio so i think this is a black owned brand i'm pretty sure so i pre-ordered this top and it actually i don't even remember to be honest like if it came in time or not because usually when i pre-order stuff like i don't even be paying attention i just be like okay it's gonna come when it comes at this point so this is what it looks like loud brand studios they gave me this big ass box for this one thing that i got but okay am i crazy am i blind how do you open this oh right here i'm like what <gasps> so pretty so this is a card that it came with again i'll probably put all of this in a collective haul so if y'all don't really see the details and everything it's going to be in a haul and then i'll try it on in that haul too it came with a dust bag which okay wow for a shirt let me show y'all how it came wrapped i don't like that like very nice and neat i live this is so gorgeous 
So it comes in plastic. Yes, it is green. It actually matches this card, which I think is so cute. So yeah. And this is the top. So it's like this mesh top. It is like a turtleneck right here so but it's meshed so i feel like you could still kind of wear this in summertime but definitely on a more like chilly day but also it's mesh girl it's see-through so <laughs> you're gonna be cold but it looks like this and it is asymmetrical at the bottom and then this is the sleeves long sleeves it does have shoulder pads this is literally the cutest thing i've ever seen in my life i got it in a medium and the tag says loud brand studios it's like embossed on there so really really cute and i think it's a uk brand so yeah but i'm here for it i definitely can't wait to wear it to see like how it fits and stuff so i'll try that on once i do the collective haul because i don't have time right now i don't know if i showed y'all this yet but i did get this dress from kim shui um and i did try it on it fits amazing i got this in a size medium and this is it so a lot of people are getting like the blue and red and yellow one i believe but i really like this color combo and i just feel like nobody's getting this color combo so i just got it because of course it had green in it the green was just popping out to me and speaking to me so this is what it looks like and it's actually lace like this material is lace so i did not know that and once i got it i was like oh let me be careful because my nails are like brand spanking new and very sharp but it is long sleeve and it's super super long so yeah i'm really just gathering outfits to wear really whenever to anything but also i do have a couple things that i will be attending so i just want to make sure that my arsenal is fire next we have urban outfitters i don't know what this is Colorful. What did I order? Okay, y'all, everything came in from Urban Outfitters. I did have some stuff coming like separate packages and also have one t-shirt that still isn't here, but we're gonna go through and see what your girl got. So, I got these shorts here. They are these black, kind of a little longer than regular, you know, just regular shorts. And these are the Levi's Relaxed Fit. I got them in a size 32, 34. So I do wish I got these in a bigger size. They are a little bit tighter because they are Levi's. If you have Levi's, you know, Levi's don't really stretch that much. So I would always advise sizing up and then, you know, doing your tailors from there. Like maybe take the waist in or something like that. Next up is this so, 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 so cute jumpsuit. I just got it because of the color. Like, look at that color, y'all. I've been really into color lately. You know, I just something got over me okay y'all know i love me a good black or white or nude but this just spoke to me so this is the bandeau top so it basically goes you know around your bust area and then it flows out and it's just so like cozy and comfortable and then here are the bottoms they just kind of cinch up on the leg i'll insert pictures and stuff i'll probably wear this soon y'all so just keep an eye out because i've been waiting on somewhere to wear this and i think i have a good place to wear it to next up are these bdg jeans so if you know urban outfit is you know bdg um i got these in a size 31 i probably should have gotten them in size 30 because y'all know i've been losing weight so i'm a little bit in between sizes so these have a little stretch to them so i should have gotten a 30 but that's okay so they have these distressing on the knee here on both knees and then they are a flare leg jean so they do flare out just a little bit and i like these because they're not too long so that way i'm not just stuck wearing them with just heels i can wear them with sandals too and then next Next up is this little baby tee so it's not a full length top it's definitely a shorter top it's a little longer than a crop top so that's why it's kind of in the baby tee region so we have some cutouts here so cute i love this it's like in a ribbed material very very stretchy and soft and this is urban outfitters brand as well everything will be linked down below for you guys so yeah this is super cute i was going to wear this with my flared jeans that i just showed you and maybe some cute little sandals or something like a cute little casual outfit but it's the details the details are just it just what gets me every time all right next up is a set and this one kind of threw me for a loop when i opened it because y'all look at the shorts like hello it looked like it shows a lot but it actually doesn't it actually fits really really well it definitely just cuts literally right under you know 
your butt area. And that's actually okay because the shirt is actually gonna cover all that anyway. So this is how long it is in the back. It comes down a little farther. And I got this in a size, a medium, if I didn't mention that already. And it is sort of like a three-fourth sleeve. I kind of rolled it up a little bit. And of course, you know, a trip to Urban Outfitters is not a trip to Urban Outfitters without checking out their t-shirts. So I got this Van Halen t-shirt. I just love the color scheme of it, the yellow, the blues. It kind of matches my nails a little bit, like it goes good with my nails. Um, I just really liked it. How about that? Like, it's just so cute on the back. It has their tour dates, so 1984, tour of the world. And I got this in a large, extra large. So this is actually pretty big on me, but what I did was I tied it up in the front and it looks so cute. I'll show you guys it because I wear it throughout the video. Actually, hey y'all, this is Kayla from the future. But yeah, in this video, I will show you how I wear it. And last but not least, I have this Johnny Cash t-shirt. Again, in the large, extra large. So it fits similar to the Van Halen one. Very oversized, I can tie it up. I can pretty much do whatever. I've worn this already too, um, but yeah just a super comfortable nude tone t-shirt y'all know i had to go for the nude tones okay we hitting color up too but your girl is still a nude tone girl okay so this is the shirt so i actually ordered an outcast one too but it's not here yet so i'll insert a picture right here this is the one that is coming soon so y'all will see me in that as well but yeah love 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 everything i got i also got another shoe rack that i need to put together and you know organize my shoes and stuff i'm just i'm dreading like everything i need to do today because i just wish like i could just snap my finger and everything be back to normal like unpacked everything organized but that's not how life works so we just gotta we gotta push through so let's get started Full speed, so I kind of slightly unpacked. I really just threw the dirty clothes in the washing machine. They're in the dryer now, so I can also put those away. Um, but the other stuff that I like didn't wear, if there's shoes and stuff like that, I can put those away. So yeah, here's what's looking like. Basically, I've been like rummaging through, like taking stuff out, putting stuff away. I wore some stuff um, that I didn't wear. I wore it to go get tacos. So there's that. This is dirty. And so is this bathing suit, but I wanted to tie them a certain way before I throw them in the washing machine so I didn't wash them just yet. And then of course all my white clothes that I'm gonna wash separately and then all this stuff up under here I never wore. And then I still have a couple things to put away, but I actually think I'm going to finish this Instagram reel really quick because it is one o'clock and I wanna post it at least by um, two o'clock. So let me do that so i need to do my makeup before i do my makeup we have to lay these baby hairs so let's do that i'm back with my eco styler thank you jesus in miami i was struggling okay i was using the ebin and then i was trying to like because that wasn't really holding my hair down and mind you my hair is not that hard to hold down so I that wasn't working so I had to like do the EBIN and then I had to spray some got to be spray on it which was actually my friends so thank god for her because if it wasn't for her girl my edges would have been a mess they wouldn't even be edges it just would have been <laughs> it would have just looked like this <laughs> so um yeah I had to spray the got to be and then let it dry and get tacky a little bit and then like and then try to swoop them and sculpt them and all that type of stuff it was ghetto but i made it work Stop it, stop it, 
All right, so I was trying to post that reel, but girl, I don't know what's going on with Instagram today. Like, it's just been acting really weird. So we just gonna do that at another time. But in the meantime, I got a package. This is from Brandon Blackwood. Yeah, Brandon Blackwood. I actually don't even want this bag anymore. So I might be selling it, but we shall see. So this is what it comes like. Okay, I plan on doing a whole unboxing and everything, but girl, I'm over him, so we ain't gonna do all that. Um, here's the car, it's dirty, I don't know why, but it's cute. A little random black wood, what does it say in it? Thank you for your purchase, enjoy your new piece, and can't wait to see you see how you style it. I promise I can read, I just can't read this handwriting. Um, it looks like it's printed, but it's like his handwriting, you know? And he's like trying to write in cursive and stuff. The box is really freaking cute. Like, look at this. The inside, the details. Let me brighten this up a little bit. And then it comes in a dust bag. Uh, this is one of my trunks. I really was looking forward to the Arlen bag, but girl, I don't know where that is. And then some people were saying that they ordered that. Cause I ordered the blue suede and some people were saying on Twitter, like they ordered the blue suede, but then he sent them blue leather. Like anyways, so here's how it looks. And I low key don't even want to open this because again, like I said, I don't know if I want to keep this. And I got the green denim trunk. Looks like this. And I thought it was just very like a unique color. I've never seen this green denim before. And also y'all know me. I love a good gold hardware so here's what it looks like let me try to get like a true feel there we go kind of like that's kind of what it looks like in person like that and the brandon blackwood on the front and then the handle right here i'm gonna think on it and then i will go from there because i just really don't know let me send this to the group chat and see what they say <laughs> you know i always gotta run shit by the group chat my friend said, well, well, mother effing well. I know, right? This one literally took forever. And they gave me like all these weird excuses about where it was and why I was taking so long. And they gave me like this generic excuse. And I was like, okay, but I already heard that. Like y'all posted this exact same thing on your Instagram. So why are you telling people to contact customer service for more details when you're just literally gonna copy and paste the same thing? Like, <laughs> It just, it just turned me off, y'all. All right, so before I take my airport picture, I'm gonna try to clean my suitcase with the little thing that it came with. A little magic eraser. So let's see how good this works. Cause some people were saying that it's actually like legit, but we shall see. All right, I just wet it. So let me see what it's giving. Oh, it's coming off. Oh my God, it's coming off. Shut up. This is cool. actually coming off y'all shout out to away they need to come sponsor your girl because i want to go places okay and i'm definitely gonna be using these for like every day i think okay this one's kind of more hard to get off but this one lady said you just put a little elbow grease yeah it came off oh my gosh all done i don't even know if i can tell the difference because i don't think I showed y'all like a close-up of the before, but this literally looks brand new. All right, so I'm gonna be wearing this Skims outfit, this white outfit, and then my Yeezys probably. So I'm just gonna zip this. Oh, also on the trip, I wore my New Balances literally like for two seconds. And look at this. Like really? And it's also on this one too. When I tell y'all for two seconds, like we went outside, we were about to ride the little scooters and the scooters wasn't working. Like mine worked and then we were going, we were trying to find another one that worked. So mine worked and one of my friends worked and then we were trying to find another one that worked. So while we were riding around looking for another one that worked, mine died. We were literally outside for five minutes. Yo, like how did that even happen to my shoes? But okay. All right, this was the setup for the picture. I basically sat on this one and had this one kind of like that. So you guys will see it on Instagram. Once you go to Instagram and look at the photo, you'll kind of see 
how it was, but I had the camera kind of like right here, I guess, but it was sideways. So you won't see any of this over here and it kind of cuts off at the wall. And then I was sitting there looking all cute, you know, you get it. All right, it's the end of the day and I'm pretty much done like getting everything together. Like I feel like my house is finally back together. Thank you, Jesus. And I can find like think again. So I still have some work to do. I still didn't go grocery shopping, so I'm gonna do that tomorrow. Tomorrow's Monday. So that just makes a lot of sense to go on Monday. Um, Cause it won't be as busy. And yeah, now I'm about to take this makeup off. And I kinda wanna go on a suicide mission and take my braids out. But I low key don't feel like it. Also I wanna take my lashes off. I bought this stuff from Amazon. It looks like this and existing beauty lashes gel remover eyelash extension gel remover professional use only <laughs> guess he's not a professional but she's gonna use it anyways but yeah i'm gonna take them off because they're falling out number one and then they just don't look as good anymore because honestly i i understand now why people get them thicker and then just let them kind of fall out within the next like you know one or two days and then they look you know good and natural and all that <laughs> i got them like super duper natural so now that they're falling out i feel like they barely look like they're there you know so now i get it i get it y'all i get it but i definitely have fun with them they were for sure a look and let's lash on instagram did my lashes love them she did such a good job she made them look amazing so next time i probably will get them thicker literally like all my lashes just came the fuck off but i'm using um my oil cleanser so maybe that's why well shoot let me just try this instead of that stuff right there let's see if this works Cause they literally just slid off like that was insane i'm gonna just massage it and this side is being a little stubborn so i'm gonna still use this stuff um it says you should only take two to five minutes i'm gonna just do one eye at a time and it says to use cotton swabs so q-tips if my eye fall off at least i have footage and it says put it on the bottom and the top but do not get it in your eye or on your skin so this is gonna cut it close all right i just did this i'm gonna let it sit it said two to five minutes so we shall see my flip q-tip and is it is it just slide right off girl what if this is stuck for the rest of my life whoever said these are supposed to slide off lied okay they lied so bad because ain't nothing it's like barely anything coming off all right we got some off i don't know if i can see it but i got a big piece off okay we're making some progress so it says two to five minutes but honestly i've been letting it sit for like 10 and then it really slides off like they show in the picture I mean in the video on Amazon and I'm not pulling hard either y'all I'm just pulling and whatever comes off comes off I'm not like trying to force anything off I mean of course I put a little bit of pressure because I have to like squeeze the lashes between the q-tips but I'm not trying to like yank them off like whatever slides while I'm sliding is what comes off and then I just keep going in See, now they're like coming on off. I feel like you got thicker lashes, like that little two to five. I don't know what they thought them two to five minutes were going to do, but even if you have thicker lashes, like you might be here for a while because I literally have the most simple, <laughs> like, set in. I've been here for a good like 20 minutes. It's my day, and I took my lashes off last night so. I look like a naked mole rat, okay. <laughs> no, but seriously, I really like, I kinda miss them, low key. I don't know how I feel, y'all. I still have like one or two. They hanging on, they hanging on, they strong. 
but they'll fall out eventually i'm sure i'm sure once i go grocery shopping i'll figure out everything i need to do because that's just like the biggest thing on my brain right now is grocery shopping so once i get that done then i can think about other stuff so let's go do that store so i just noticed i don't have anything on like earrings necklaces that's how i was feeling a little off a little off balance so let's start with the grocery store first and then we're going to go to trader joe's trader joe's is a grocery store which i know it's just like up there it's not a regular grocery store to me so she's giving luxury okay first of all i got some shrimp not the frozen ones because baby they recalled the frozen shrimp and yeah, I don't really eat frozen shrimp like that though. I really like to get fresh shrimp. Um, or even just seafood in general. Like I like to get my seafood fresh. I got some Brussels sprouts. Which I'm probably going to eat shrimp or Brussels sprouts tonight. I got some asparagus, spinach, and mushrooms. They didn't have a small thing of the mushrooms, but we're going to make it work, girl. Maybe I'll try to figure out a recipe that requires a lot of mushrooms i don't know because i never get the big one because they go bad so fast so mushrooms i always get like the little small one i got a bunch of cauliflower rice one because i really love it and two because it's just such an easy like side to throw with anything so i could eat this the shrimp and the brussels sprout when i was getting the shrimp i saw these um phillips maryland style crab cakes and it comes with two so i can just pop these in the oven or something like that Get some cauliflower rice going, some mushrooms, some asparagus, whatever you want. Also got ice cream. <laughs> Balance. Um, I got this so delicious dairy-free chocolate cookies and cream. And then I also got the cookie dough one. So I used to eat the cookie dough one all the time. I never tried this chocolate one. So got that. Also picked up my favorite. These are the amy's vegetable lasagna so the grocery store that i go to they don't have the gluten-free ones which is okay because it's not like i'm completely allergic to gluten i just prefer not to eat it um just because of the way my body my body doesn't digest it as well as you know other stuff so i picked up two of those because i really love these just something quick to eat you know then i got some vodka sauce the non-dairy one and i think it's gluten-free as well it's paleo keto certified vegan no soy or canola no added sugar um oh and it is gluten-free so yeah i picked this one up this is from the brand primal kitchen i showed y'all this brand before i really like their um alfredo you can make alfredo but when you don't feel like it primal kitchen is a pretty good one um but i do have to season it a little bit myself because you know it does come from the grocery store <laughs> I got some cabbage and I also got some grapes. So that's all I got from the grocery store. All right, so now Trader Joe's. Y'all know I got some flowers. I haven't got myself flowers in a long time. So I was way overdue. So I made sure to get me some. So this color of the month is blue. My nails are blue. I just been feeling blue lately. So I got some blue flowers. These are blue hydrangeas. I also got some eucalyptus to put in my shower so they finally had this kind the i don't know how to explain it but they have this kind and then they also have the flat leaf ones so mm, um last time i got it they only had the flat leaf ones so i've been waiting for them to get some of this in so i'm gonna put this in my shower asap i got some of the gluten-free everything bagels love those also pro tip put those in the freezer y'all okay because I got those like one day I ate one and then like maybe two days later the rest were moldy and I was like are you serious I got some peppers because the grocery store had some but like they didn't at the same time so yeah um I also picked up this Trader Joe's wine which I tried before and it's really good well I don't want to say it's really good but it's good for the price like it's super cheap <laughs> and it's good for the price that's all I'm gonna say and I like buttery chardonnays all the other chardonnays be too fruity and just like no I want something with some 
with some body to it, you know? Um, I also picked up this salmon because Trader Joe's has the best salmon. So I picked that up. And then also I picked up more of my favorite tortilla chips. But yeah, that's my grocery haul. I need to put all this away. And figure out what I'm going to eat. Because I haven't eaten today. What time is it? It is 12.21. It's time for me to eat, girl. So, yeah. What am I going to eat? I have no clue. Probably like a nice little omelet or something. And a bagel. Ooh. Sounds solid to me. Out with my sister. Hey. We are headed to this taco spot that I always go to. Oh, yeah. They're open. What's outside? Ooh, do you want to? Yeah, definitely. Okay, I'll never be sitting outside. I don't, I don't get to sit outside to go anywhere. I, all I do is go home and go to work. That's it. <laughs> we could definitely sit outside. And your waiter should be Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> clink, clink, clink. The food is here. I got sweet potato, cauliflower, and grilled shrimp. And my sister, got she got al, al, pastor. al pastor and bulgogi. So excited. I love tacos. Alright, we're gonna eat the shrimp one first. I've had all these tacos a million times, so I already know what they taste like. Oh yeah, and we got the other stuff. Thank you so much. Good. Alright, let's see what this one is hitting for. This is the hibiscus. Hold on. <laughs> this is good. Yeah. It's actually really good. Okay. And I normally be hating on the flavored margaritas, but I like me, I like my tequila. You know what I'm saying? Raw, real. So I be hating on the flavored ones, but that one is really good. Well, I appreciate you for sticking up for me. Oh, of course. Cause if anything, I'm gonna stick up for my sister as well. Uh -huh. you yeah, I'm correct. Okay, y'all. She about to wax my armpits. I'm fucking scared. So I tried this before. <laughs> I tried this before, and I'm gonna just tell you, it didn't go so well. Oh. I grow my armpit hair out all the time because I'm like, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do it. Ain't nobody gonna tell me different. And then I chicken out, and then I just can never do it. So, I'm gonna do a small piece and you gonna rip it. Okay. Shit. I was about to say, I've watched some waxing videos. I know there's like a particular technique as to how you're supposed oh, to. Oh no, I'm already hit. Oh, I bought new wax. Hold on. I bought this kind from Amazon. I will put it in my Amazon store. Oh my God, I'm scared. India, if you, it goes up, right? Yes. Hold on, it's not dry. I it's not dry she was like like relax <laughs> if I touch you. all right look my arms are behind hey. my back because <laughs> i'm already in this stance right now like <laughs> okay <gasps> no, I'm not it's not dry no i'm really scared i'm dead serious <laughs> i don't know what to expect me neither the only time I've ever tried to wax is I tried to wax my legs when we were in high school back when we were still living with mom. And I tried to wax my legs and it just didn't work. Oh, I was there with you. I, I did it. Oh, yeah, that's right. It didn't work? Where I, don't think, I don't think so. Whatever mom had. Hey, you got to pull this motherfucker. Okay. Woo! <laughs> it worked. <laughs> oh, my god. That's why I said it worked. It worked. Ugh. Hold on, look at this. Yeah, there you go. Y'all, look at this. That is so nasty. Look at that. Yo, it actually didn't hurt as bad as I thought it They're gonna blow up in the comments. She just <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. But I will say, this is good wax. It came off rather easily. I know, I like it. Right? So I'm gonna take Should a picture. Should I do the whole thing now? Oh yeah, I set myself up for this. Okay. Yes, please. I'm sweating like shit. <laughs> <laughs> you need a personal fan. I should have put some. I keep forgetting every time I, every time I do this, I always forget that I need to put like baby powder or something on. 
and I just be slapping it on like just ready to go. And now I just set myself up for the worst pain ever. Is it all just like to help with? Yeah, not sticking to your skin. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ready? No, it's not. It's not dry. Oh, okay. Ooh, but that one did come off easy. It did. I might need to hire you. <laughs> no, for real. When okay. you come over, we wax my armpits. Okay. Once a month. Nah. You want to wait a little bit longer? No, because then it's going to get stuck. Okay, ready? Okay. Okay, not some of it is still there though. Oh my motherfucking gosh. Oh yeah, it's bleeding a little bit. Shh. Hey, you got the follicle like dead ass. And she didn't drink blood, y'all. Hold on. Free waxing spray by Bella Verde. It came in the kit with my um There you go. I learned. It came in the kit with my my wax pot. Damn that mama hurt. Some good wax. Y'all should buy this. <laughs> no, it really is because the other one that I had, it hurt so bad. It hurt way worse than this. We're gonna have to do this one in like two sections. <laughs> Just part it down the middle. I've been wanting to do this for so long. So I'm glad that you're fearless. Because everyone else that I try to get do it for me, like, I don't know what's wrong with her. Ooh. That didn't hurt that bad. <laughs> didn't get it all out of there. At this point, fuck it. You know what this reminds me of? Ooh. Um, the pain. Thing. All right, next one. This joint is sweaty, okay? I'm literally sweating bullets right now on this side. We doing this in two seconds. You sure? I think so. Should I? Just do the whole thing. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Shima, just do the whole thing. What? <laughs> I'm not good with this hand, so this might be a little janky. Okay. But I think that's not that bad. Only thing is it's like a little thin right oh, here. Oh, shit. I touched it. <sighs> <laughs> I'm stressed the fuck out. No, but this one looks good. Mine is that little patch, but that is okay. Like, that's fine. I'm not even worried. Because I can just shave that little part, and then the next time everything else will grow back thinner, mm -hmm. and then it won't hurt as bad. But the first one, oh, oh shit, here we go. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> oh, wait, I, I, cause I gotta wait. Go. <laughs> oh, I got my teeth. Mm. <laughs> yes. Y'all, look at this. Oh my God. Look at my armpit. It's literally on this wax. Oh, that was a good one though. This wax is really good. Whew. Okay, so she just waxed my armpits. <laughs> I think we did a good job. It's given esthetician. So yeah, <sighs> I finally conquered that. So. My sister's about to leave, so now I don't have anything to do. <laughs> okay, y'all, so my sister just left. Well, <laughs> she left like two hours ago. I've been sitting on the couch, pretty much doing nothing. Um, I wanted to show y'all some of the stuff that I use for waxing. I had some people ask me on my, oh, my armpits are so sore. I had some people ask me on my Instagram, so I wanted to share that with y'all um because i posted a picture in my bikini and someone asked me about shaving tips but i don't shave i wax i wax down there and now i wax my armpits as well um i just needed somebody to do it for me because i literally cannot like strike up the courage to pull it myself i still have some hairs but i didn't want to keep waxing the same area over and over and just traumatize my armpits so we're just gonna wait. We're gonna wait for the next round. Um, but I did exfoliate with the Skin Fix Glycolic 
renewing serum i think that's what it's called so yeah it looks like this i'll link it down below i get this from sephora and i definitely i pretty much scrub my whole body with this but i try to get up under my armpits just to get the deodorant really like off of me and like really exfoliate there so i exfoliated um the day before i did this so yesterday i can't talk i don't know what's going on but anyways i did this i also do this after i wax as well so on my legs and stuff like that i make sure i use this the day before i wax then i will wax and then the next day after that i make sure i exfoliate and then i exfoliate maybe two or three times a week it just depends because i'll be forgetting sometimes but i really try to aim for at least three times a week every other day this is the wax that i use today and i really 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 liked it um i'll keep y'all updated because i do want to wax my legs i probably should have did that right now to be honest um but it took a lot of hair off my armpits and it wasn't as painful so we'll see i probably should wax my legs like literally right now while i have everything out and then for down there so i actually go get that wax i go to the european wax center and i get that wax by a professional because i can't do that myself like y'all bold if you do that yourself maybe one day i will be able to but honestly i'm really looking to move into laser hair removal and get out of waxing down there because i'm very prone to ingrown hairs i don't know if this is tmi but like y'all need to know this well y'all need to know this about me but you may be prone to ingrown hairs if you wax you never know until you really wax well you can know if you shave shaving really just girl stop shaving down there trust me just go get a wax um i know it's expensive but trust me if anything if you don't go get a wax make sure you exfoliate please so i get this from the european wax center it's called the body polish looks like this and you can get it from the european wax center it actually does not look like this anymore they it's like an a uh, brown packaging no like beige tan packaging um but it's just the body polish so if you go there and you you know get the body polish you can get that the body polish from european wax center is just way more smooth and less scratchy i don't know if that makes sense um and then also i showed you guys my wax pot it's hot right now so i'm not gonna pick it up but it is in my amazon store it's the bella verde waxing kit and it comes with the pot it comes with it comes with some wax beads as well i use all those it comes with some popsicle sticks and it also comes with a pre and post waxing spray so that's what y'all saw me use earlier so you can use these or pre-wax you can just use some baby powder they also have pre-waxing powder i actually really like the powder for people who sweat like that like me <laughs> like i know y'all saw earlier i was sweating like shit because i was nervous because i have to rip my armpits off right so um a pre-waxing powder is a really good one i know sunny she had i mean she uses one i just can't remember the name of it so yeah those are all of my waxing tips hopefully you guys take some of them try out some of the products and let me know how you guys like them also if you have any recommendations girl leave them down below if you have a pre or post waxing whatever let me know down below if you have wax bees that you really 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 like that you feel like grip coarse hair because i have coarse hair under my armpits and also kind of on my legs not really but um i have coarse hair so i need stuff for coarse hair and i feel like this one definitely took off um a good amount but yeah i feel like a new woman i definitely want to hit the pool at some point this week like maybe tomorrow i should have went to the pool today honestly but i totally forgot my sister was coming over here honestly this week has been a hot ass mess okay like <laughs> i literally forgot today was even thursday number one i forgot my sister was coming over number two um i still had to wash my hair i had to just do all these things i was scrambling today for real but today ended well like i'm i'm getting to like rest and all that i got so much done today so yeah girl good morning i stay coming over here looking crazy anyways my flowers let me show you my flowers they kind of like perked up a little bit they look so good now i put them in some water you know the flower food and all that and they look really good matches my nails kind of so yeah right now i'm about to start working i need to do this head oh my gosh like <sighs> i haven't gotten like really really cute since miami so it's about that time y'all guess what i just got done doing so i filmed my skims the video and all that good stuff i'm gonna edit it i'm gonna put it up tomorrow granted we'll go up today 
it ain't happening my wi-fi is not that fast so it's got to go tomorrow but i just got done filming a congratulatory is that a word congratulatory a video congratulating okay a video congratulating one of my subscribers because she is about to get engaged this is literally crazy like i'm just so happy for her so her boyfriend reached out to me on instagram and he was like i'm getting engaged to her this weekend well i'm going to propose to her this weekend can you send me a video congratulating her because he was like look she gonna say yes he didn't say that but he's confident i like that so he was like send me a uh send me a video um of you just saying congratulations i was like oh yes period because i like when i tell you when i see certain uh like little usernames or instagram handle whatever you want to call it i know exactly who it is you know what i mean like i be knowing who y'all are and it's because y'all usernames pop up so much because you engage with me you comment on my stuff like i just i be knowing okay and i be creeping on y'all pages too but anyways so i knew exactly who he was talking about so i'm like oh it's the period because i recognize her she always comments on myself she's so sweet she's so nice we be talking in the dms and all that type of stuff so i'm like girl i got you sis i'm gonna congratulate you because oh my god i'm just so happy like that just warmed my heart that he reached out to do that for her because girl it's still some good ones out here so girl i'm so happy for you if you watch this I'm so happy for you. So now I'm about to um, take my makeup off, get in a shower and stuff. Because we're going out tonight. So I'm going to just put on a fresh beat when we about to go out. I already know what I'm going to wear tonight. So that's said and done. I actually wore this already. But I didn't like, you know, show it on the vlog. And I also didn't take a picture in it. So technically I ain't never wear it. So it's really just my business that I'm putting out there for y'all to know. Because if I didn't, you would never know. So it's this top right here. This is from Urban Outfitters. And I'm just gonna wear some, my my little jean shorts. And then probably these sandals. These sandals right here from Shein. And then my white Jacques Mousse bag. It's shot o'clock. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. <coughs> you know what happened? down the wrong hole. There's only one. <coughs> no, bitch. It's too. I feel like I went down like the right side. I'm supposed to go down the left. It's only one hole. I I believe there is one. Know, it gotta be two. Then why do people like you went down the wrong hole? Because as people, we are not smart. <laughs> hey Siri. How many holes are in your throat? Here's Venom, music from the motion picture by Eminem. Is that your trachea? Yeah, look, see, there's only one hole in it. Look, you can see it's That's one them hole. is bones. What is she talking right about? Right here. There's one hole. Those are bones. No, baby, that right there, you see? The red thing? Where it's coming, this is this is your throat. It's going down into your esophagus. What's it called? Epic. Uh-uh, we can do that. that. Your that. larynx, yeah, that joint went down my larynx. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to go there? No. <laughs> it's supposed to go down my trachea. <laughs> you got your mic now? Yes. I know, my sister bought me a mic. If you're my close friends, then you know exactly what this is. But we both have our own mics now. Oh, um, hello. Okay, I'm gonna tell the joke, hold on. Are you ready? Yeah. What did 50 Cent do when he was hungry? I don't know. What did he do? 58. <laughs> hey, Brad, what's happening? Hola, Padre. What's going on? How are you? I'm good. Can you hear the echo in my voice? Oh Lord, are you on the microphone? I'm on the mic. Me too, because we both got our own mics now. Well, I got one too, though. Gang, gang. Hey. <laughs> uh -oh. Y'all getting ready to do y'all competition? Yeah. Okay, we, who's filming this? We taking some Me. shots right now. Oh, we got to get ready. 
who is videotaping this? The, that's what okay, we got the camera. I'm videotaping. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I can't wait for this one. <laughs> We're gonna send it through. I'm gonna record some footage this. on my phone too. But Kayla's gonna oh, get I'm footage sure. on her on her um camera. Oh my god. Dad, I have a question. What's that? Well, it's, it's a, a joke. It's a joke. Okay. Okay, Dad. What did 50 Cent do when he was hungry? What did 50 Cent do when he was hungry? I don't know. 58. <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> Let's get this thing popping. <laughs> Let's get this thing popping. <laughs> All right. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> All right, all right. Bye. Bye. This is the 2021 Chris Brown versus Usher. Uh, let me set my phone up. We can get some more. How you gonna ruin this? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Because Look, if there's any delays, it's because of her. Man, what's that? Keisha Cole can be late, so can I. Put it on the candle. It don't move as much. It don't move. <laughs> my hair? <laughs> like I said, this is the 2021 Chris Brown versus Usher because they won't meet up in the ring. So we meeting up in the ring. We are now Chris Brown versus Usher. I oh. am Usher. Chris Brown dropping her shit all over the place. about to head out this is what i'm wearing i have on these shorts from h&m these little bermuda shorts i showed y'all these before and then i have on this top from urban outfitters i showed y'all this earlier but i just tied it up like this like literally like a little knot to make it a crop top and then i have my hair cooking up under here and then i just have my hair in this bun and then oh Again, I showed y'all this before, but the shoes from Shein, they kind of match my shirt a little bit. And then I will probably wear, ooh, my Jacques Mousse bag, which I feel like just looks cute with this. This bag right here, I feel like this is cute with this. So I'll probably wear this. And then maybe my JBW watch, um, if I can remember where I put it, where I have no clue. Where anything is, I think it's with, um, I think I know where it's at. So yeah, this is the fit. Real cute. I'm just waiting for everybody to come over so we can get this pregame started. Why you feet hurt? <laughs> that versus was literally epic. And I'm gonna be wearing my light blue. Shout out to Sunny, cause she really, she really f the game up with this one like i cannot put this down it smells so amazing we're not leaving right now i'm just waiting on everybody to get here but i just want to show y'all my outfit because i will forget <laughs> got done eating brunch me and my sister so now we're just walking around because we're near some water so we're like let's just see what they talking about with the boats for next time this is so cute out here there's like the water over there oh, and the boats and stuff huh oh it's so cute over here and these little poles <laughs> little poles but yes, they have some boats and stuff over here. The waterfront park. And they have so many restaurants over here. It kind of just like it kind of look like the little backside, but there's so many restaurants like on every street. It's just restaurants, restaurants, restaurants. Oh, that place over there, Blackwall Hitch. One of my friends told me about that. And she said it was good. All right, so my sister just left. And when your girl got the box cutter, you know it's time to unbox some stuff. So um really quick the food 
the food at Chadwick's was really good. First package is from Jaded London. They've been having so much cute stuff on their website. I saw this little two-piece set on their website and I was like, oh my gosh, I need it. I was trying to get into more color. That's really what I've been trying to purchase is more color. So this set right here is, it's a little out of my comfort zone, but you know it's okay. And it looks like this. And I was planning on unbuttoning it, wearing it open with like a white bikini top or something like that. So this is how this looks. Or you could do this with like some shorts or something like that. Yeah, this would be cute. Oh, I like their little hang tag. It's giving, um, it looks like a little credit card. Low key, Glamazante really started this whole like credit card looking business card type thing. So shout out to my sis, but yeah. Same little concept with the credit card. And then the pants look like this. Ooh, these are gonna be cute. Um, I like how the waist is kind of drawn in more. So it's definitely gonna fit the waist real good. And then the pants are like super long, flowy, bell bottom type situation. So this is gonna be cute AF. So yeah, they're also dropping something else tonight. So I'm gonna be on the website period because that stuff is really cute. And honestly, just everything that they sell is just so different. It's very different and I like it. It's, 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 given, it's given what it's supposed to get. Next up we have Zara. And these actually came fairly quick. I don't remember when I ordered them, but I know it didn't take that long to get here. These are a pair of shoes. And I actually have a bunch of stuff to return to Zara. So my girl Mo convinced me to, this look like somebody warm. Oh, never mind. Um, my girl Mo convinced me to get these. These are like these green pointed toe shoes. And I have the perfect outfit for these. And they have been out of stock, but they finally came back in stock. So I'm like, let me grab them. So I just got them because they're just green. I love green. Green is literally my favorite color. And you can do so much with these, like just to add a little pop of color, maybe like a white t-shirt, denim, uh, like jean shorts and these bad boys. Or you can do, I wouldn't wear it with that. Um, I mean, you could if you wanted to. You can just do so much with this. You can pair this with so many different like complementing colors that are complementing to green. Next up is a pair of shoes that I actually saw on Twitter. <laughs> so Twitter definitely convinced me to buy these. They are a pair of Air Forces and y'all know I've been trying to get my shoe game just back to where it needs to be but just even better this time before i was 100 percent like wearing vans and i was that person you know what i'm saying nothing wrong with people who still wear vans but that was like when vans were popular af so it made sense but now they've kind of died down and ever since i lost those shoes like all those shoes that i lost during my moving process i've been trying to you know just revamp but also the shoe industry or whatever is just in a totally different place which i appreciate because girl they've been dropping some heat so i got these and these are some air forces they have like some little suede right here and they have a little yellow not yellow <laughs> they have an orange uh swoosh on this side a full swoosh on this side and then a swoosh outline on this side so these are so cute and then they have the gum bottom or the icy bottom whatever you want to call it i don't know you know i ain't no sneakyhead girl i don't know the terminology but this is what it looked like and then i didn't even know it had this but it has a little like shoot a little gold shoestring charm or whatever the hell it is with like a little crystal in there girl i'm gonna be looking cute okay i could have wore this with this actually Oh, it says first use June 18th, 1971. So I guess that's the first Nike check. And then this is the latest Nike check because on the inside, it shows you the evolution of the Nike logo. Oh my God, this is so cute. Next up is women's wear. So one thing about women's wear and Jaded London, they ship so fast. Like I ordered this stuff two days ago and it's literally in my house right now. Like that's crazy. This time it came in a little box. The last thing I ordered from them did come in a box, so that's cute. Also, this was part of their um, their like sale or whatever. So I grabbed a couple things. 
So I just picked up these sweatpants in a size large. I feel like I could have got an extra large, but maybe they didn't have it in stock. I'm not sure because yeah, I probably would have gotten an extra large, but they look like they'll be kind of oversized. I just know they're gonna they're gonna fit fit. You know what I mean? Then the last thing is this set that oh my gosh, y'all! It is like the perfect little like running around set. So it's these leggings right here. And the leggings are always tall girl friendly. Like all their stuff is super tall girl friendly, which I like. So I already know the sweatpants are gonna like, you know, scrunch up on my ankle. Um, so yeah, can't wait to wear those. I'm probably about to put them joints on right now to be honest. Then at the end of the leggings, it kind of like splits and zips right there. So that's cute. And then the top, I'll put up a picture so y'all can kind of see cause I'm not trying this on right now. But the top looks like this. And then the back is a little shorter. So yeah, this is gonna be super, super cute. I got this in a size medium. So yeah, that's all I got, y'all. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that little haul. So yeah, that's pretty much it, y'all. Let me stop rambling and let me get to work. So I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video.